Hey guys, it's Lord Motions back on uh, the MCP server, Supreme Tech, and today we're going to be doing a tutorial for slappers. And Reen Rusen, um, this is server maker for MCP. Reen Rusen is their the guy that they normally have their videos on, uh, who does the videos that they have embedded in their app when you press the watch video when you go to the plugin pin, uh, and he has. <coughs> A, a slapper plugin tutorial, but I don't think it's thorough enough. And I want to tell you about how to do really good slappers and use them to your advantage and stuff. So, um, uh, this I think works for Leet too, just like I said with the other thing, uh, with the chap to do. Yeah, that it works the same way. I'm pretty sure, so uh, if you use Leet, this should be a tutorial for you too. Anyway, <clears throat> so let's get started. This, this floating text is made by slappers. This, of course, you'll need the slapper plugin to do this. That's also a slapper. Um, if you go to the staff building, um, the slappers in this world are glitched. They should have different skins, but for some reason they all have my skin. And I forgot to reset my skin. When I use block launcher, which I normally use, especially when I'm doing slappers, because slappers take a lot of typing in commands, and you can use, and if you're doing duplicate slappers, it's easier to be able to use previous command, and block launcher has that. But for some reason, the skin I purchased in Minecraft Pocket Edition app doesn't show up on block launcher as purchased, so it just resets it to Alex skin. And, yeah, so if I had my normal skin on, it would look like the normal me. So, um, these are all slappers. If I tap, you can you can add commands to them. I tap that one, it says, hello, welcome to Supreme Craft Survival, enjoy your stay. If I tell this one, have a good time, if I tap that one, it says, have a good time and build some cool stuff. Um, so, basically, the idea of slappers is to create fake entities that don't exactly act like real entities but can pass for them. So if you were on Lifeboat and you saw the kits that that they have in the um in their uh kit area um the kits that they have there are the people that are on top of them, the fake players, those are the NPCs, those are slappers. NPCs, uh, slappers aren't exactly MP NPCs, they're like stationary NPCs. The ones that are walking around in Lifeboat aren't exactly slappers, but they're like more advanced versions. So st to start out, you're going to type slash slapper, and maybe it, uh, you can do create or spawn it doesn't matter so if I want to make myself I'm going to type player and after that I would type <coughs> a name so <coughs> just if I wanted to type a name but I'm not going to type a name I'm just gonna leave it slapper sl spawn player and it'll spawn a slapper that looks like me with my name so here we go It'll give me an entity ID too, so it says 12616 if you can see that. Human entity spawned with name Lord Malicious and entity ID 12616. Okay, so um, this looks exactly like I would if you were looking at me. And um, it's staying there. They used to not like rotate around and look at you, but they do now. Um, so, if I wanted to change his name, for instance, so I look at that ID, if I lose the ID, I can always do slapper ID, and then I tap whatever slapper I want, and it'll give it to me, 12616 again. Um, so, slapper edit, 12616, and there's a variety of things I can do here. I'm going to do name name and I'm gonna do change just like er, no that's that, that sounds like a com part of the command um ASDF oh let me d 
do that again. Slapper edit one two six one six name um A S D F. There we go. I must have typed it wrong. So now you can see as you can see, um the thing above his head, the name tag, is not Lord Militians anymore, it's ASDF. And if I want to get rid of this guy, well first I'm I'm not gonna get rid of him yet. So um, make sure to type slapper help um, if you need some help. Um, okay, so um, I'm going to try, uh, let's see, um, slash slapper edit uh, 12616, uh, which is the um, ID of that one add command, all one word, and now you type without a, another slash what command you want it to do, so, uh, and all the arguments for that command, so if I wanted it to broad, broadcast, um, uh, this is, um, or no, no I, I'm a slapper. Okay, so now it says command added. So when I tap this guy, it'll broadcast a uh, thing saying I am a slapper. A message. Weather clear. Okay, so uh, let's try it. The moment of truth. Three, two, one. See? It works like magic. Yay! Anyway, then if I want to slapper, oops, scapper, slapper remove, I do not have to type the ID. Actually, I want to try that. Slapper re remove one two six one six. I hope this is the right. Okay, you can do that. Normally, it's just hit an entity and it will remove it. Um, so, so I'm going to try slash slapper. I, I want to get rid of the, um, player, Blair. I want to get rid of the, uh, remove an entity with, uh, your fist thing. Okay. So now that thing is that, um, what would you call it? Um action has passed okay so now I'm gonna try uh, slapper spawn this is a mob so let's say chicken and unlike um I th let's see it does it move um, last time I checked uh, like friendly mobs moved and hostile mobs of course move as long as they're activated in the world. Um, where is the farming area? Oh, here we go. Um, so I guess it doesn't move anymore. The mob friendly mobs don't move. So it still works the same way. You can add commands and stuff. So I'm going to slap, slap or remove. Um, and, oh, that's my friend XPS134. Okay, so, um... He, he said he's having login problems. Anyway, so, um, now I'm gonna make, uh, okay. If you were to, uh, just, once again, if you wanted to, um, make a different name to begin with than your player name, um, you'd put the name there. So, like, happy. Um, yeah, so there he is. Um, slapper remove. Um, hi, I'm doing a tutorial on slappers. Okay, so anyway, um, then if I wanted, 
so floating text, that's one of the, it's a little bit complicated, but it's pretty easy. I mean, slappers are pretty easy anyway. Um, uh, and so let's try it. So you're going to want to do slash slapper spawn falling sand. And I don't know why it's falling sand, but that's what it is. And then you're going to type the name. So, um, tutorial. Flo floating ah floating text and now um so you can see it's a stone block right now that's the default now zero is the um entity id for air uh so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna look at the id it's one two seven one six so slapper edit one two seven one six and then block instead of name and or, or add command um and then zero and that's the I identity of the uh the block that it's supposed to be and you can add commands to that just like you can uh and uh and yeah so that oh oh and uh just a little thing i wanted to show you so i'm gonna um uh, i'm gonna go back what is the entity id um one two seven one six okay here we go slapper edit this is on okay he one two seven one six this is just to show you how to make it display the player name so um uh, of the person who's looking at it so if i wanted to do um player okay so i'd put in here player underscore um uh, name or n name in curly brackets and then like so i'll put an exclamation mark there or no it's display name not player name okay all right name um there we go darn it slapper edit one two seven one six um and what is it name Welcome, um, display name, okay, here we go, oh, I thought that it would have put a space in there, so I double backspaced, um, and make sure to put anything else outside the brackets, and there you go, welcome Lord Militians, um, of course, you can, you can also do the same thing that you did with the display name, but put in line instead of display name, and it'll put like an enter. So if I want to slapper spawn falling sand um, test and then line test, it would make it do that. See? Yeah. So anyway. That's, um, that's all for today's tutorial. I'll see you later on Lord Militians. Recommend me to your friends. Um, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe if you like my content. And, uh, stay tuned. Bye.